there on the day can recognise the figure, nor do they remember anyone actually standing there when the picture was taken. It's also said that the mysterious figure doesn't appear on the negative. Some believe it could be the ghost of a cheerleader who reportedly committed suicide, throwing herself from the fourth floor of the school after being dumped by her boyfriend. Over the years, many students have claimed to see a young girl jump from the same floor, but when they run to help her, there's no one on the ground. Has the photographer actually captured the ghost of the deceased cheerleader, or could it be simply some sort of camera malfunction? This chilling photo was sent to us on Facebook by a North Sea oil worker. They claim it was taken from a rescue boat that was patrolling the perimeter of an oil rig moored off the Cromedy Firth in Scotland. The sender said no one ventures onto the pontoons at night as they're dimly lit and usually underwater. However, there appears to be a figure holding onto the side. The sender also mentioned that all crew had been accounted for, eliminating the possibility that it was a worker checking or repairing the rig. The pontoon was also moored out at sea, making it unlikely to be anybody else. If the strange figure was not a member of the crew, then who could it have been? If you zoom in on the photo, the figure certainly has the shape of a human. However, it appears to be glowing. It's grey or white in colour and has a wispy smoke-like quality about it. Despite this, you can clearly make out the figure's head, body, legs and arms, one of which appears to be holding onto the side of the pontoon. What do you think? Does this photograph actually show a ghost hanging from the side of this oil rig? Love to get your opinions on this strange photo in the comments section below. While this isn't actually a photo of a school class, it's a very creepy image nonetheless. Believed to have been taken way back in 1900, the photo is of a group of young weavers. It was recently rediscovered by an editorial team in Northern Ireland while they were searching for photos of extinct professions that were once practiced in the city. If you look closely at the woman on the right hand side, one up from the bottom, you can see that there's a hand on her shoulder. However, the hand can't possibly belong to any of the other women in the photo, so whose hand is it?